Hello everyone, this is Mike Anderson, your Government Affairs Chair for NAMB. Listen, we are issuing an urgent call to action re regarding QRM, Qualified Residential Mortgages. It's part of the Dodd-Frank Act, which uh, went into law in July of 2010, and particularly Section 941, which has to do with risk retention. Basically what the risk retention is, any, any lenders who securitize mortgage loans must retain a 5% risk retention. Okay? However, what will be exempt from their 5% risk retention will be qualified residential mortgages. Let me tell you how they've defined it so far. That's why this call to action is extremely important. Number one. 20% down payment. I don't know about you, but in my market, we don't have a lot of people 20% down. I'm affiliated with the largest and oldest real estate firm in the Gulf South, which is called Ladder and Bloom Real Tours. We're going to have to change our name to Ladder and Bloom Real Tour. Okay, get that real tour because we're not going to need our 1,200 realtors because we're not going to have enough people to service. Okay, number two, the requiring debt to income ratios a limit of 28 over 36. I mean, please. So you mean to tell me if I have someone with an 800 credit score, uh, 12 months cash reserves, 20% down or 10% down, and they're at a 37%, they can't get a mortgage? Or better yet, they're, they're not gonna be a qualified residential mortgage? I don't know about that. Uh, number three, <coughs> Excuse me. Number three, the bar cannot be currently 30 days past due on any debt obligation. I had a loan yesterday, and I know you guys get to have hundreds of stories that are watching. I had someone yesterday that has a $25 medical collection on their credit report that just went on six months ago. The guy works for a Fortune 100 company, tons of cash reserve, 20% down. I mean, an 809 credit score, but that one $25 medical collection he knew nothing about. He's not going to be a qualified residential mortgage. Uh, don't get me started here. All right. Number four, bars can be no more than 60 days past due on any debt obligation within the preceding 24 months. Guys, this is, I think, just a little bit of overkill. You can't just take everybody and just put them in this box. Okay. Underwriting is a science. I mean, it is a science. There's different explanations. I mean, the, the 60 days past due, what if it was fraud? What if it wasn't their fault? I'm sorry, you just can't have this because the, the end result is going to be how is a lender who's going to securitize these mortgages with 5% retention, how are they going to do that? There's only one way to do that, and that's what? Raise the rate. The rate will go up probably 2%. Okay, what's that going to do to the housing recovery? It's going to slow the housing recovery down or just make it come to a screeching halt. Now, there's those who say it's not the end of the world, Mike, because FHA is excluded. Guys, if you see a big migration to FHA, it's already too big already. A larger migration to FHA, what do you think is going to happen with Congress? Whoa, we can't have FHA doing this much business. We need to tighten FHA. Let's increase the insurance premiums some more. Let's increase the down payments some more. Maybe 5 to 10% down with FHA. So guys, this is extremely important that you take the time. I've included the link below to click on to congress.org. And you go ahead and click on your state. Click on your representative and write a letter. But I think what's going to be important from calling, coming from mortgage professionals like yourself is that we know a good loan. We see it. We take loan applications every day. You can just explain what's going to happen here. But I think the, the end result is going to be, guys, if they really want to define this qualified residential mortgage, the industry's corrected itself already. Every loan we're doing today that's a fixed rate mortgage full documentation. The only thing we don't ask for today is a urine sample, a blood sample, and DNA. We ask for everything else under the sun from the homeowner. In fact, ask your lawmaker, have you gotten a mortgage lately? Talk to your family and friends and see if they've gotten a mortgage lately and see what it takes and see what they go through. But I think that they, they want to keep that 5% retention. Great. Good idea. 
for the loans that caused the mortgage crisis to begin with, which were what? Subprime mortgages, state income, no doc, um, pay option arms, those were the products that created the mortgage crisis. It wasn't your good old fashioned 30 year fixed rate mortgage, uh, collecting W-2s and pay stubs and bank statements. That did not get us in this mess. So anyway, I've been talking too much, but please take the time guys. This is extremely important. I know NAR just put out a call to action, I think it was yesterday, uh, about the very same thing. So let's all join together and let's go ahead and fight this and get the letter off as soon as you can. Thank you.